Right now I have decks and crap all over my bed. And this is take two of this video because I had some interruptions. Especially about the mutant squashes growing in my garden. Anyway, welcome back. This is going to be, as if you can't tell by the title, there's a hair on my tripod. Weird. Um, this is kind of what I plan on reading and the decks I'm going to be using for the month of October. As you know, October is going to see two full moons and a Sabbath Samhain. Um, yeah. Now, I do still plan on doing some of my other videos, but if any of you watched, this is September 30th, by the way, if any of you watched Lou Valcourt's uh, video, I watched it yesterday, she was talking a little bit about burnout and anxiety. This is anxious times for sure. Uh, they just had the presidential debate last night. Oh, what a clusterfuck. Anyway, I did not watch it because I'm not getting any younger and I don't want to waste my time on that crap. So, she was did she did talk about, you know, you know, just some of the anxiety and issues and how easy it is to get burned out and the need for self-care and hopefully my tummy doesn't growl because I need to still eat breakfast. I've been munching on stuff, but mm. So, what I've been doing and I agree with her. It's no use burying your head in the sand. But burying your head in the sand and entering another reality for an hour, two hours a day, might be a good thing. And so I have been getting more into reading. I am a slow reader, um, which is kind of a bummer a lot of the time because some books are really massive and if you're a slow reader then it's hard to get through them and it's discouraging and I've kind of had that with one of the books that I'm going to show you today but I think as you read you get a little faster with your reading also too it's a good way to just escape for a, a few moments into a story and so I am going to be showing the books that I'm going to be reading that are fiction. They are non-witchy, non-pagan, non, you know, tarot. They're just for shits and giggles. I'm going to read these. And when I say that, it's really weird because wait till you hear the genre. Anyway, and then I will talk about the uh, books for the, my practice that I'm going to be going over this month and the decks that I'm going to be using this month. So here we go. Um, my favorite genre of movies is horror. I like to be scared, but I like it to be fake scared. I mean, you're really scared, but you know that shit ain't real. It's like foot dragon zombies, which I don't like zombies at all. So if you ever think I'm going to own the zombie tarot, you can just kiss my ass because I'm not going to do it. I don't like zombies at all. No zombies. None. Mm -mm. So, but I do like horror fiction and I noticed, I was thinking about it, I've been reading horror fiction since I was barely a teenager. <laughs> I've read Carrie. I've read The Exorcist. Um, I do like that shit. I do enjoy being scared. So, I'm going to start reading some scary books. Yes, I only have four that I have uh, picked out here, but I think I will do a kind of mid-month check-in, see where I'm at with everything, how things are flowing uh, for the month, and so... These are the books that allow me to escape the scary reality I live in to go into a scary fake reality. And one of the, well, two of them actually will be Stephen King books. And this I got at the thrift store for 50 cents. And it's one of the Bachman books and it is thinner. So what the hell? I do know the premise of the story, kind of, sort of, but... I'm going to give it a read. The other one, and this is um, my dad's copy. So it came out like right when the book did originally. And that is The Shining. So I'm going to read a couple Stephen King. The only Stephen King book I've read, like I said, is Carrie. I've never really been into Stephen King. Uh, we used to have The Stand. 
No fucking way I'm reading that right now. We don't have it anymore, but it doesn't matter. Even if I saw it, I wouldn't buy it. Not right now. Another one my dad has is, and that I'm going to read. Oh, there's a little 666 in there. And that is The Omen by David Seltzer. I have watched parts of the movie, but not fully. So, yeah. And then this is not the 1818 version that has recently been released. Um, and that is... Frankenstein cost me a whole lot of nothing because it was in a box of free books so yeah classic there I guess what happened was she wrote the book in 1818 um, there's more to the story and then she revised it later on and that's what most of us have been reading um, over the years and they recently Print, reprinted um, the original 1818 version so that will be interesting but I'm gonna read that one and then maybe eventually I will um, get that the original version so now the good part let's get on to the witchy shit so one book that I probably will not finish up today because I still have about 60 pages of it but I will finish it up and I'm just gonna include it in here is The Morgan Celtic Goddess of Magic and Might by Courtney Weber. Now, I am not um, a devotee of the Morgan. But like I said, I'm a slow reader. So starting out, this was really difficult for me to even read and because I wasn't really into it. But I do like the stories that are told and um, she goes over different aspects of the Morgan. And so I have been reading it and starting to enjoy it. And so I will be finishing that up in October. Another book that I'm going to start afterwards, like I said, I have crap all over my bed, um, is Stephanie Woodfield's Dark Goddess Craft, A Journey Through the Heart of Transformation. Now, I'm not going to be a big one for uh, shadow work in the month of October. I'll wait until uh, November. I'm not looking forward to November. So... But yeah, I've had this for a while. Um, I'm going to get into it and check out the Dark Goddesses and all that kind of shit. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully. And those are like books you really want to spend time with. The fiction, you just want to blow through them. Be happy. There's a cat scratching at my door. And, you know, all that. So that's a book I'm actually going to work with. So it might take me the whole month to get through that. Another book that might take me the whole month to get through is a small book, and it's The Tarot, A Key to the Wisdom of the Ages by Paul Foster Case. This is an older edition. The newer editions have additional resources uh, list um, in them, I guess. I don't know, but because I haven't seen one. But I got this for a reason. I will go over that in another video. But I'm going to work with this and really um, do some annotating and... You know, I guess everyone has said that it is really worth reading Case because he does know his shit. He was a member of the uh, Golden Dawn here in the United States and is the founder of, where I just saw it here, Builders of the Ad Ad Aditum, I don't know, the BOTA. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be reading and working with this. So, that's the books I'm going to work with. Damn cat. I don't know why she can't figure it out. There's a cat door in my door. She's a pain in the ass. So, decks I'm going to be working with this month. For my weekly reads, which I have not been doing because life's a little ugly, um, I'm going to go to my Power of Surrender cards because I think it's a good uh, choice to do especially right now. Those are by Judas Orloff. You can get them through Hay House. Um, it is a nice little deck. I, you know, when I first got it, I was like, oh, would I really want it? But, you know, when I think I saw the one that's like surrender, you know, you're people pleasing because I'm a people pleaser. So that really struck home. So I was like, okay, yeah, I need this deck. 
but there are different things like you know here is surrender to your intuition so it gives you um, the name of the card and then there's a quote at the bottom and so like this one it says tune into your inner voice be aware of any gut feelings flashes knowings or aha moments that come through to guide you and that's what you're supposed to do there's no um, guidebook to this it's basically just the cards you know meditate on the message you know don't like delve real deep just meditate and it'll come to you but it does have things like surrender fear don't blow away surrender your surrender your fear of intimacy surrender your desire to control people here's a good one this has come up for me a few times surrender to divine timing so yeah I like pulling those it gives you something to work with over the course of the week and you go from there but I do always like to couple it with um, like an oracle deck so there's two decks that I've picked out oh, first one because you know it's kind of Victorian and Victorian works especially when it looks a little gothic for uh, Halloween time so it is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley it is beautiful Oop, here's the backs I didn't show you the backs of the other one sorry I suck and so you do have this dark vibe to it but nice messages here's I don't think those are bare tits they could be I only see maybe a nipple um, yeah this does pair nicely with that you know it's like the message you think you're gonna get is not the message you're gonna get you get something else and it always usually uh, works well so yeah I do like working this deck with my power of surrender cards now a deck that I'm also going to use because I thought well should I use a tarot deck with it what should I do and I'm like I have the perfect deck and I haven't worked with it yet because life's been that way and I did back this on Kickstarter and it's the Antiquities of Magic Oracle Volume 1 Traditional Tarot Symbols by Jillian Wilde I love her art so like I said I have not worked with this at all here's the backs of the cards I'm sure everyone has seen a walkthrough of this deck at some point and basically it's he has taken symbols that we find within the tarot and just put them on a card to work with the symbol itself so she also does list in the guidebook where the symbols can be found on which cards and so yeah I think that instead of like a full tarot deck I think this will be a really nice addition to my weekly draws so that's what I'm gonna do and see how it works out I think eventually what I'll do is um, pull out my naked heart tarot her other deck and work them together I think that will be a lot of fun now I am going to be pulling using three decks for you know any kind of spread daily draws that kind of shit and <clears throat> I've been doing that this month <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> choking on my own spit oh my god I really wasn't touching my decks at all and one of the things I will not do is do any sort of divination or anything on the election COVID any of that crap because it might be something best left to just kind of work itself out so I think it's best to always kind of work on yourself and what you can do personally but I have used two decks that's what I did uh, for the month of September and I'll go over that in another video um, and it does work really nice to have the two cards and kind of piece them together for an overall reading so I got this deck again I'll have to go for that in another video it's part of a haul and I have not worked with it at all um, it's all consecrated and ready but that is the because it's creepy but in a cute way the Paulina Tarot I also have the Joie de Vivre I got that when I got the uh, Gilded Tarot Royale and I just never showed it but like it's cute and kind of creepy all at the same time look at the high priestess 
Yay! So I figured that would be nice. Cute and creepy. You know, that's awesome for this time of year, so that will work. The other one, which was the one my nephew said scared him. It didn't scare him because he was giggling and smiling the whole time. And it is definitely Halloween themed. And that would be, I have the tin version, Halloween tarot, because it's freaking adorable. I have hair all over in there with the top of the tin. Okay. This I do like working with. Don't be fooled. It will give you a good reading, but is that not adorable? This one always reminds me of what was that book where the wild things are? Is that what it was with the boy and the big animals and he dressed like one? Look, he's dressed like an imp. I'll look at that. Black cat. There's black cats in all of them. So it's like, awesome. You're my friend. I love you. So anyway, so I'm going to be working with that and the Paulina Tarot uh, together for draws and for any sort of readings. I'm going to disappear real quick. There we go. Get the top of the tin. I'm going to use those in conjunction with another deck that I got through Kickstarter. Um, it's, I love it. It's adorable. And that is, I'll have to look at the title because I can't read it from there. Oh, Witches Familiars. Okay, the Witches Familiar Runic Oracle. I'm probably seeing walkthroughs of this one as well. Let's see. Here's the little backs to the cards. I didn't show you the backs of the other cards because I suck at this. But I'm going to go through and find my what really sold me on this deck. Isn't that cute? Animals and runes all together. Ew, I don't really like scorpions, but kind of reminds you of the moon card in a lot of ways. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Bat. Love the bat. Bees. Oh, here's what it is. And if you did the Kickstarter, you got like a print, like postcard size print of this one. And so I'm going to frame that and it's the black love it. So awesome. How can you not love a black cat? Unless they spill Dr. Pepper all over your tarot deck. And then you kind of question the cat. But she's asleep over there. So we'll just leave her at that. But anyway, I think that's it. This is what I'm going to try and do for the month of October. I'm going to, I did do a blog post on, I don't want to do a video on it and I might as well just tell you what it is. Um, I did do a blog post on identifying, um, counterfeit and fake tarot decks uh, and oracle decks you know too because that's an issue I did do a blog post on that my blog is under the same name as my channel Starlight's Musings so yeah I do have that there I am going to actually do a video I just haven't felt like doing the video um, because I got duped pissed me off but I figured I would use this time that chance to teach others not to make the same mistakes I have and so that is a uh, future video I also have another blog post coming up about tower fear the fear of the tower and because God knows we're all going through a tower moment aren't we so anyway I'm gonna about I'm looking at the little thingy right there you can't see it, it's right there it's my little timer um, I'm almost at 20 minutes which means it'll cut off and make another video so Anyway, I'm going to call it quits right now. Much love and blessings, and I will see you in the next one, and I'll probably be wearing the same clothes because I'm filming them all on the same day.